Hi guys, how you doing? So I decided to do another first impression video and this one's gonna be the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation. Uh, I'm in the shade W12 because I am very ghostly pale and I need to go for the lightest shades that they have. A lot of people seem to like this foundation and you know me, I'm a sucker for makeup so I decided to check it out. It's not new, it's new for me because I never tried it before but it's been in the drugstore for a while and I decided to pick it up now because my L'Oreal True Match is done so I decided to I decided to go for the Lumi and see how I like it I don't want to go out anymore ah! it's thunderstorming outside I still have to go out, so I'm doing this for you guys. I'm doing this for you. Okay, so let's just pin our hair back because the last thing you want is foundation all over your hair. <laughs> just pin it back and let's get to it. Also for this, I'm using my Real Techniques brush. Uh, this is a foundation brush. I don't know if, there's, if it has another name, but it's the foundation brush. So I'm going to start applying. It's not that bad actually. It has very light coverage, but it's decent. I mean, if you don't have a lot to cover, it's not bad. I look ridiculous right now because I didn't do my forehead. Ugh, and I hate using foundation brushes. I put a lot on my hand and I feel like I used it all up because of the foundation brush. I prefer using my fingers. I feel like I don't use as much. But let's just do my forehead and see how it works. I have a little blemish up there that I want to cover. It's nothing bad, really. Okay, I don't know if you can tell, but I have one side of my face done, and I... It's okay. I think it's my color, too. It's a little bit too pale for me, but I can just add blush and bronzer. I do have two blemishes right there. I don't know if you can see. And this is, you know, not covering it too well, but it's not too bad. Okay, so the thing I like about this is that it evens out the skin tone pretty well. Like I said, it feels a little bit too pale for me, but it blends in with my neck perfectly. I didn't really put the foundation on my neck yet because um, I don't like brushes. This is wasting a lot of my foundation. So I'm just gonna let it dry for a little bit and then I'm gonna add a second layer. Okay, so I'm definitely using my hands for this. I don't care about that brush anymore. Honestly, I'm just gonna do it like this. with. There we go. I just put a tiny bit on my fingers and it was enough to cover my whole face because this foundation is really really runny. So I think it's perfect and you know what the best way to apply it is with your fingers. I'm just gonna get these blemishes on the side. They were a little bit red. It's not cover it's not covering them entirely though, but it covers pretty well. It feels a little oily, like the foundation feels a little bit um I don't know, it's runny, it's dewy, definitely dewy. And it gives a dewy glow. That's pretty much it. So far I'm liking it. I mean it feels like it transfers. I haven't really well used it to know if it transfers or not but because it feels very runny on the skin it feels like it's gonna transfer and it's not drying as fast as the L'Oreal Tree Match that I have like the actual L'Oreal Tree Match uh, it's not drying as fast as that um, but let's see if it sinks into the skin and dries but so far I'm liking it, it's pretty dewy and I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back Okay, so I'm back with the rest of my makeup on. All I did was just put blush and bronzer um, and concealer. What I did was, I didn't put any setting powders or anything because I want to see how long this foundation lasts on the skin. I only powdered this area, like my T-zone area, because 
it's where it gets the most oily and if anything this is where it's gonna start to fade first but I think that the color is a pretty good match for me I really like it so far so good also right now it's 3 30 it's 3 30 p.m. right now and I'm just gonna go try this foundation on for the rest of the day and see how I like it quick update um, it's 7 30 right now I wish I could show you my phone and show you the exact time but I can't because the power went off and I had to check my phone before I'm filming on my phone so I had to check my phone to check the time before I started recording but it's 7 30 and um, the foundation is holding on pretty well still it's pretty well I mean my blush is still on um, it's still well it's very dewy it definitely feels like skin um, before when I put the powder down my t-zone this was the only area that was kind of dry right now it's starting to feel dewy my face feels dewy but I don't feel like a grease ball or anything. It's just perfect. And like I said, my blush is still on. My bronzer is still on. It is a perfect match to my skin. Um, it's perfect. I love it. It's not fading anywhere yet. Except kind of around my nose. Um, I don't know why, but it's not a big deal. If you have a concealer stick, you can always reapply. You know, just put a little bit of concealer. And then it covers it up. But it's pretty good so far. So... Hopefully I'll have the power back on at the end of the night so I can check back. It's now 10.40 and it's the end of the night. Well, the end of the day. What am I saying? It's the end of the day and it's time for me to get my makeup off. Um, my foundation is pretty dewy. It gives a pretty natural, a pretty natural look. Um, my blush didn't really hold up too well. It's kind of fading. I see light patches of my skin. I don't know, it's fading. It's it's starting to fade now. And like I said, my face feels a little dewy. If you do have oily skin, I definitely recommend setting this foundation with a powder. I will actually use this foundation with a powder and a setting spray, and then I'll put it at the end. And then I will let you know how that held up uh, throughout the day. But you know what? I actually like this foundation. It doesn't feel too heavy. It doesn't sink into my fine lines because I have fine lines on my face. Um, I'm making it seem like I'm like 60 years old. But no, just over here I have a weird line. Okay, so a quick update on the foundation with pressed powder and setting spray on. The foundation lasted pretty well. My face looks flawless right now. I don't know if you can tell, but the blush stayed in place. Um, I love it. I really like it actually. It's um, the end of the day already. I put it on at 2.30 p.m. and it's 9.50 right now. It's 9.50 p.m. and it stayed on pretty well with the setting spray and powder and all that. This was a setting spray that I was using. I'm almost done as you can tell. I know they have a new packaging. I'll probably buy it and do a review on that one too. And the pressed powder that I was using is the Advanced Radiance yeah, in 110 Creamy Natural. I love this powder because it did not sink into my fine lines. I have like a weird line right there and that powder doesn't really sink into it and the foundation didn't really go in. One thing that I noticed was that it creased on me a little bit on top of my eye but it was it was nothing too big or anything. Um, it's pretty good, and the blush is there, and I look kind of dewy and glowy, and I love it. I definitely recommend it. Setting it with a setting spray would be a good thing to do. But yeah, so I think that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Bye.